man, you go crazy. I just saw a video circulating on the blogs with some kids standing out of Walmart. And I said, man, I'm just some kids having fun. Well, out of Walgreens. And they just ran up out of there. All they had was like some chips, you know what I'm saying? And they were just running up out of there so happy. I'm like, man, it's just kids. Be the kid. Yeah. It's the adrenaline for the kids. But they go, they 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 just experiencing themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't just say, oh, he's gonna be a criminal. Ah, come on, man. Why y'all judging one? Right. Yeah. They go home like, yeah, all right, man, look, y'all gonna do that. You feel? Me? But I ain't gonna lie. That shit, you know that shit go when you was a kid, man, that they're drilling them off. You be around and get your friends and like, hey, man, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I remember riding bikes doing that shit. I ain't gonna lie. At some point, we gotta be like, damn, we doing this shit. We gotta be able to go sit down in these places and now you maturing. Mm -hmm. So that shit out the window. You know? Mm -hmm. That's the thought process of watching TV. Seeking to find the things in life. Like, you know they target the youth, the toy people. Barbie specifically. Am I wrong? They target the, the, the youth. Yeah. Children. When you get a Barbie doll, what they got in their hand? What the Barbie doll got in their hand? Yeah. I don't know, I ain't never had a Barbie doll. No, I'm saying though, like you gotta pay attention to shit like I got nieces and shit, so. Right. So, so the little girls, they be carrying the Barbie dolls. And with the credit card. Oh. I never know. They that. train the little girl to go spend money at a young age. Oh, wow. Right around, though. Oh, you're right. That shit, that shit crazy, bro. You gotta think about that shit. Watch what your kids are watching, watch what your kids are doing. Man, we be having a lot of uh, young ladies sit on our couch and tell us how they was watching porn at a young age. Man, listen. And it messed up their head. Man, listen, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say I wasn't, but... I ain't gonna lie, my mom was on our ass growing up, so we knew take care of ourselves. We got big sisters. I can't say my big sister was watching that shit. My big sister are great parents. Outstanding, my mom was outstanding. All our women, our family, I highly commit, highly respect. When I be around our neighborhood, I ain't gonna lie. For the one to do that, that's, that's they. They probably like they went through some. I can't say I can't judge them. Right. That's on their behalf. I can't pass judgment on them. Right. But to flaunt it, to do like that, I don't know. I feel like they still had something somewhat. Are you still putting like a shield up, mm -hmm. using as a front? Mm -hmm. There's something probably mentally wrong with the motherfucker. They probably never really got a chance to be talked to mm -hmm. on an intellectual level. Like, are you okay? They probably no. think it's okay, especially with the OnlyFans and them making money with yeah, it now. Yeah, you know? yeah. So you're like, shit. They probably think, I'm not saying like they did something did happen to them. You gotta think like, if there's something did happen to them, something like, man, they feel like they damaged shit. Why not use it now to get some money? Am I wrong? Mm-mm. Turn the bad situation good? It ain't a bad situation good. That shielding it up, trying to act like you are, but you really riding this side because nobody really caring about you. So you rather these men just lust over you, pay you, you're about to be trying to touch you again if they was in that predicament. That's a concept on you, you know? You know, so what's her name? Um, China Black, she turned her life around. Yeah. She, she removed all the implants, all the, uh, you know, surgery she was having. She changed her name. Uh, she took her OnlyFans down, and she was making a lot of money on her OnlyFans, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so she, you know, she turned her life around, you know? So hopefully that motivate a lot yeah. of other, you know, young Yeah, ladies. like, I understand if you're a young woman out there doing a little modeling stuff on the Instagram, to promote themselves to get into like a certain the mountain industry, then the acting or whatnot. <coughs> but to go left, it's just straight porn, like what the fuck, what, what was your purpose? Like, I can't say every stripper is a whore doing what, but it's a uh, illusion. You know what I'm saying? What they doing is just out of ordinary. 
that's why I love my niece and them. Don't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I post y'all pictures. I understand y'all growing up, y'all getting older. Okay, cool. All right. I don't want to ever come across them doing no, you know what I'm saying? That shit like, that shit will break my heart. That shit will break my heart. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. For sure. That's like a worst nightmare. Hell yeah. We had interview uh, Layla Red Case, and she talked about like, how one of her male cousins was, was getting ready to do his thing, and he on the phone, and he see her on one of the thumbnails. Yeah, so imagine that, right? It's messed up out here, man. Yeah, that shit the devil. No, oh, for real. Porn the devil, though. <clears throat> Ejaculation takes away from your life, man. Man, I've been reading up on semen retention lately. Because I heard Mario talk about it. And I heard Kevin Gates talk about it. And Mario had said something deep, like, you know, you think about it, you know, us as men, you know, our semen, that's, that's new human life. You know what I'm saying? So he's basically saying, like, we shouldn't just be letting that out, you know what I'm saying? And we'd be more powerful if we was to keep it inside of us. And I thought that was deep. I had never thought about that. So what you just said, you said, you said ejaculation is what? Take it away from Take my life, lifespan. You notice how you be drained out of sex and shit like that. Mm -hmm. All your shit is like, ugh. Right, right. But in that process, you're supposed to be producing life. But you know, the feeling is great, so we do it. But that actually supposed to be meant something greater than that. You're getting deep on them crazy, James. You're giving them something to think about, man. And these are some like, topics like, that... Like, real talk, like, all right, look. In jail, all right, you don't have access to your woman. So in jail, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, I'm a man, so I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I gotta get my shit, like... In jail, you, me and masturbate. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, like, you don't hear a slide, man. You feel me? A grown right. man, she ain't gonna lie to you, you know, you feel me? But it ain't, it ain't like that when you lock down 23 hours in one, so you going literally, you know what I'm saying? You working out. That's how men get so, the niggas in jail be so strong, so cut. But in the first time, a man in the world just in the gym. It's taking real life years for them to get fit when in jail. You really have no choice but others do this shit daily. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's the mental. Right. It's the moving forward process. Shit crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, li I, like, I like this type of conversation because I don't get to have these type of convos on my platform, you know? Yeah. People be thinking, I don't want to have these type of convos, but that's not the case. Yeah, people don't understand the type of their intellectual self, like, spirituality, like, when you go to sleep, you in another realm and you tap into your ancestry, like, sometimes you're in dreams, you may have ideas that you don't really obtain fully in this form. When you're a dream, you mean like, you know, greater times, right or wrong, am I wrong? You're right. I be seeing myself doing all type of things, so I be like, see me, I be remembering my dreams. So it's like, it's rare. I invent like, when I write music, I wake up at five in the morning and write music. You know? At five in the morning, you get your first, like, your, your, your first burst of energy, and it's a part, like, let's say, like, when you sleep at that time, it's a chance you can even in between and rounds. Because you stay in the morning. I can hear you. I say, when you, at five in the morning, they say you're between rounds. Okay. So it's a chance you can stay or you can go. Right, okay. That's how people pass when they sleep. So, it's a good, you got a great amount of energy right there, like, I right, get up. You can be you can be worked out all day, dog tired. You go to sleep at three, get back up at four or five, you gonna have some energy. But when you do crash, you're gonna crash for a long time. Yeah, for sure. Man, crazy James, you got a crazy perspective on a lot of different things, but everything you saying makes sense. Yeah, you gotta understand it's the universe. What we give out is what we give back. 
When the pandemic hit, we're not moving around. The air was clear, no pollution. The trees actually actually do their job without so much going on. You know, it's absorb, absorbing the toxins that's in the air and letting it fall off and perish. What they say, ash to ash, dust to dust. Got me over here thinking like a motherfucker like this. <laughs> nah, this is real shit though. Uh, For real life, that's why people have plants in their house. You know that, right? Plants help your help like cleans the air in your house. Rather than having a purifier, plants do that for you. Mm. That's why you see the older people be so old with plants and big as hell in their house. Like the little, uh, like the little cactus looking ones and shit like that. And they be old as hell. Right. I like it. I like it a lot, man. DJ, you go crazy!